Have you ever wanted to track the percentage of water from more than one source, or the concentration of multiple constituents without having to set up separate model runs? One tool, the Water Quality Batch Run feature, can do just that. You can then use the provided reporting tools to view multiple trace or constituent results system-wide or at select points. To get started, open the Water Quality Batch Run tool from the Analysis pull-down window. In the dialog, you see Trace and Constituent. We will look at both cases, first with the trace analysis. To create a new analysis, right-click on trace and choose new water quality batch run. Here we already have a trace analysis started. The source elements here are already filled in, as is the representative scenario. When you're starting with a new one, you'll just collect, click in the pull-down menu and you'll be able to choose from the different scenarios to use as the representative scenario. To add source elements, you would click the Select from Drawing button, which will open up a Select dialog. In this case, we've selected the tank and the reservoir that are in this model. And once these are selected, we're ready to compute. So we'll just click the Compute button. After it's computed, there are a couple different ways that you can view the results. First, you can click the Graph button. We don't have any elements in here right now, but from here we can choose the Select from Drawing tool, just like before, and we can select elements that we want to look at. In this case, we're going to select a junction close to the reservoir and another junction close to the tank. After we've selected this, we'll just click the OK button, and we'll see that these are in here. After clicking OK, now we see a graph of the results. In this graph, we see the cumulative volume, the flow, and the calculated trace. One key to take away from this is that we can see where the flow is coming from at the individual junctions. You can also click the Data tab to see numerical results. But there's one other place that you can look at the numerical results as well. If we go ahead and close this, there is a statistics table. We can go ahead and open this, and what we see is something similar to the uh, to the other data table, except here we can actually see all elements. You see the maximum trace value. The trace source right now is set to tank, so you can see it that the maximum trace for J9, for instance, is 100%. But for other elements, like J26, it's under 40%. If we switch this to reservoir, we actually see that the, uh, the max trace results will change um, the minimum trace results are here as well. You can also change the start and stop time to see key times. You can also see results for uh, pipes as well as nodes. This can give you a good overview of what's happening in the system for the different sources. The other feature included in the water quality batch run is a constituent analysis. Similar to the trace function, you can perform multiple constituent analyses at once. This works a little differently as it looks at individual constituent alternatives rather than different elements themselves. These alternatives need to be set up ahead of time. If we go to Analysis and then Alternatives, we can take a look at the, uh, the two alternatives that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the, we have the chlorine, 4 milligrams per liter where if we go into this, we'll see that we have a fixed concentration of four milligrams per liter at the reservoir. The other one that we're looking to look at is the constituent two milligrams per liter. Here, we don't have, it's not being applied to the reservoir, instead it's being applied to the tank, where we have a two milligram per liter concentration applied there. So we'll go ahead and compute and then to see the results, we'll click the Graph button. As before, you can select the Select from Drawing button to add the elements. Here we already have J6 and J13 included, and we'll click OK. And now we have a graph similar to the other one, where we have the total mass, the mass rate in milligrams per second, and the concentration. Here we can see what the different constituents look like over time at the two different elements that we're looking at. You can also click the data table to see the numerical results. As before, there's also a statistics table where you can switch between the alternatives to see some key statistics in the analysis. 
Information on water quality batrons and much more can be found in the hydraulics and hydrology section of Bentley Communities. Thank you for your time.